Hi, I'm Dean Draco. Like many of you, I'm sheltering in place even while recording this video. There is an opportunity for the physical security industry to contribute to the pandemic battle and develop some powerful tools in preparation for any future pandemics or epidemics. One promising area is thermal cameras deployed with video management systems and analytics to detect elevated body temperatures and thereby assist in virus containment. I'd like to share with you five points regarding this technology. Number one, elevated temperature screening is not coronavirus screen. Thermal cameras are generally not approved for nor intended to be used as medical devices. Furthermore, some people who have a virus may not show a fever. Number two, thermal cameras work by creating an image using the infrared spectrum and then correlating it to temperature. A system can either utilize the highest temperature in the image or use analytics to find faces and measure the temperature of the eye or the forehead. Number three, higher accuracy cameras utilize a small calibration unit placed within the camera's view. In contrast, typical thermal cameras used alone show a baseline accuracy of plus or minus two to four degrees Fahrenheit, which is not considered accurate enough to measure body temperature. Eagle Eye Networks recently tested the solution with a calibration unit and found it accurate to plus or minus 0.4 degrees. That's about 10 times more accurate. Number four, video management systems can utilize analytics to automatically send notifications or generate an alarm when pre-specified temperature points are exceeded. These notifications eliminate the need to have to constantly have an attendant monitoring the system. And number five, a video management system should include cybersecurity protection to prevent cameras being used as an attack vector. This is especially important given the current shortage of thermal cameras and because some advanced temperature screening technologies are only available from Chinese suppliers. With more focus, and development, automatic non-intrusive elevated temperature screening can help give peace of mind as we regroup and re-engage. It may become common for us to passively screen people who enter a building and ask those with elevated temperature to kindly work from home. Thank you.